We begin with a news alert coming in from Iraq, where a drone laden with explosives has targeted the residence of Prime Minister Mustafa al kadimi in Baghdad in the heavily fortified Green Zone. Iraqi military has called the attack an attempted assassination targeting the Prime Minister. According to reports, Prime Minister al kadimi has escaped the alleged assassination attempt unhurt. No one has claimed responsibility for the attack yet. An official statement from the Iraqi military said that the, the attack targeted Kadimi's residence in Baghdad's Green Zone and that he was in good health. Western diplomats based in the Green Zone, which houses government buildings and foreign embassies, say they heard explosions and gunfire in the area. Iraq Prime Minister, meanwhile, has appealed for calm and restraint. In a nationwide address, al Kadimi said that he is doing fine and urged for absolute peace for the good of Iraq. In the name of God, the merciful, to my family and people everywhere in Iraq, to all those who worried on this night, my house was targeted by a cowardly attack. Thank God, me and those who work with me are in good health. Your heroic security and military forces are working on maintaining Iraq's stability and protection. The cowardly missiles and the cowardly drones do not build our nation and do not build our future. We are working on building our nation, on respecting the state and its establishments, securing a better future for all Iraqis. I call on everyone for peaceful dialogue for Iraq and Iraq's future. Long live Iraq. Shortly after the Prime Minister's residence in the Green Zone was targeted by a drone attack, shots were heard and smoke was seen rising in the sky in Baghdad. It remains unclear who fired the shots. The attack, which security sources said has injured several members of Kadimi's personal protection, came after protests in the Iraqi capital over the results of a general election that took place last month. Iraq has been witnessing mass protests since a couple of weeks now. The recent wave of demonstrations are staged by Iran-aligned militias that lost much of their parliamentary power in October election. They have alleged voter fraud and counting irregularities against the ruling government. We are also getting the first reaction from Washington on the Baghdad drone attack. The United States has condemned a drone attack on Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa al kadimi which it characterized as an apparent act of terrorism. State Department's spokesperson Ned Price said, and I quote, We are relieved to learn the Prime Minister was unharmed. This apparent act of terrorism, which we strongly condemn, was directed at the heart of the Iraqi state. We are in close touch with the Iraqi security forces charged with upholding Iraq's sovereignty and independence and have offered our assistance as they investigate this attack. End of quote. Well, for more details on this story, senior journalist Hawar Ali is joining us live from Erbil in Iraq. Welcome, Hawar, to this broadcast. No group has claimed responsibility yet, despite the U.S. condemning the terror attack. Some claim the attack could be politically motivated. Do we have any further information on this incident? Has the Iraq government initiated investigations on the attack? Uh, thank you for your time, Eric. Uh, the latest news is that uh, just uh, uh, half an hour ago, uh, Iraqi Interior Ministry released a statement uh, first condemning the attack as well as uh, saying they have formed the investigation committee and they have started working to investigate this attack and uh, who's responsible. So far, no one has uh, climbed it, as, as you said. But uh, all points to all the fingers point to uh, the Iranian backed militia group, which has uh, uh, in the last few years has uh, attacked most of the targets in Iraq, uh, U.S. Embassy, uh, Arbil International Airport, all the those who uh, they claim uh, uh, ally, allies of U.S. Uh, forces in Iraq and. Uh, uh, as you know, uh, in, since the uh, Iraqi election uh, a few week, weeks ago, there have been mass uh, protests condemning the results and protesting the results. And uh, uh, 
most of those uh, protests are backed by those militia groups and uh, senior senior militia groups uh, or senior leaders within the the groups threaten the uh, Iraqi prime minister just uh, last night during their protest so uh, all indication that uh, this is the uh, Iranian backed militias but uh, so far no one has climbed the attacks However, let's talk more about the protest. The attack on Prime Minister's residence comes days after hundreds of pro-Iran demonstrators took to the streets of the Iraqi capital, Baghdad, leading to clashes with police. They are angered by October's election results. Any further information on that? Yeah, uh, uh, basically, this is the, the party groups who are uh, close to or close to the militia groups or close to Iranian uh, uh, Iranian uh, influence, so uh, they they got not a lot of seats or not a lot of votes uh, in the parliament, as you know. So they are angry. Uh, they are calling for uh, even the re redoing of the elections uh, or re. Uh, what, uh, uh, they, they are calling for uh, revoting uh, all the the votes uh, by hand. So this is impossible, and they have. Some of the provinces have been done through hands, but or manually. But uh, not a lot, or, or you cannot do all the 18 uh, Iraqi provinces. So this is a problem. And they, they say there's a, a rigged elections. Uh, uh, most of those Iranian-backed uh, uh, parties has not got a lot of votes. Uh, the, or the people are angry with them due to the recent attacks on the Iraqi facilities or U.S. Uh, uh, bases or uh, U.S. allies, uh, for example, Kurdistan uh, region uh, uh, airport. So they're calling for re-elections, but uh, that's impossible to do. And they are threatening uh, Iraqi prime minister where they, where they uh, accuse him of being a uh, U.S. ally. And this is how it started. Uh, during the last week, there was mass protests, most of them in, in Baghdad, the capital. Uh, there was clashes, there was uh, you know, killings and uh, injuring uh, wounded uh, protesters. But uh, uh, they still continue to protest. And as I said, uh, yes, just yesterday, most of the senior militia groups, uh, senior leaders within the militia groups were present in those uh, protests and they threatened mm -hmm. the Iraqi Prime Minister uh, Mustafa Kadami uh, if they or, uh, or they said uh, if he doesn't intervene and do something on the election results right. and this is what we see. Right, finally and very quickly, how are what next for yeah. the politics in Iraq then after last month's election which are still being contested? Uh, that's the million dollar question, Eric. Uh, no one knows what, that will, what will happen, but the, the, the certainly is uh, the tension will, uh, will be much more than yesterday. Uh, today, uh, as you said, there's been attacks and the security is uh, most, of, most of the security forces are, uh, are on the streets uh, trying to calm the situation. But I expect more tensions to come within a few days, given the situation and more, maybe more protests and more clashes. This is the, what I expect. Live from Iraq, thank you very much, Hawar Ali, for talking to We On.